everybody, it's Mo. I'm here at the Magic Kingdom in front of Tomorrowland. It's a hot afternoon, it's a busy day here at the Magic Kingdom, and I'm here for one reason only, and that's to ride Tron. I managed to get a boarding pass for the Virtual Queue soft opening today, so I thought I'd come out and see what this ride is all about. Today's trip here was kind of a last minute decision. I didn't expect to get that boarding pass, so I wasn't prepared to come here at all today, so it's gonna be a pretty short video. I'm here. This park is crowded. Once I ride this ride, I'm done. I'm gonna head home. So let's go check out Tron and see what it's all about. What else do we know about Tron Light Cycle Run? Located in Magic Kingdom's Tomorrowland, Tron Light Cycle Run is a steel launch coaster that simulates riding a crotch rocket. With a ride time just under two minutes, Tron reaches a top speed of 59 miles per hour with a network of twists and turns that mimic the same video game grid from the movie series. Most of the ride is indoors with only a short segment spent outdoors under an open canopy after the first powerful launch. The queue has indoor and outdoor segments. The latter boasts amazing 360 degree views of the massive canopy where you can easily watch the light cycle zip along the track. Along the queue, test seats are available so that you can see and feel what mounting the actual ride vehicle is like. Park guests not able to comfortably mount the standard ride vehicle can easily ride on the alternate vehicles made available on select coaster trains. For your safety, remain seated on your light cycle at all times. Keep restraint securely fastened. Prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. system is very similar to Velocicoaster. They're all marked with a number. Let's get a number that I can remember. All right, let's get to number 702. So I attempted to get into the locker and it didn't work. I tried to use my phone with my e-pass and then I tried to use my physical annual pass and it didn't work. So I found a park attendant and they gave me one of these cars. If you do not have a magic band, this is the card that you'll need to access the locker. So make sure you remember that if you have a magic band, you're fine. But if you don't have a magic band, you will not be able to use your phone nor your physical annual pass. Ask one of the attendants and they'll give you one of these cards. There it is. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Once it turned white, then that made it. Got it. Thank you so much. Had to. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Now, can we carry our phone? Yes, so there is a compartment in the ride for your phone. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're all set? Got it. Thanks. Okay, guys, so as you see, you're going to have to actually physically use the card and push it against this button here, and then it will, the light will go out, then the door will pop open, and you're going to have to hold the door open because it'll spring back by itself automatically. So remember the card, push the card up against the spring here, and then it will pop open. All right, guys, let's go ride. The way you enter 
into the ride vehicle is very interesting. You'll see you have two sides. The side on the right, you actually walk between the vehicles to get to the other side to mount the bike that's positioned on the right. getting your hair done if you're planning on to go out and try because your hair is going to get messed up so don't even think about trying to be cute all right made it back to my locker so you take your car you push it up against the little circle and hold it and it opens up for you for those using a locker key card, look for the marked bin against the wall just before you turn right through the ride exit. This is where you return your used key cards. Don't forget! So what did I think of Tron Light Cycle Run? It's a fun, modern, and exciting ride that holds true to the look and theme of the original movie series. I think a fast ride of this caliber is long overdue at the Magic Kingdom and will certainly draw big crowds once it officially opens. The one disadvantage to Tron, in my opinion, is that I'm more inclined to ride it at night. You can appreciate the beautiful exterior lighting and striking design a lot more when it's dark, but again, that's my opinion. Overall, Tron is a great ride and I'll definitely be riding it pretty much on every Magic Kingdom visit from this point on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.